hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so today we are going to discuss about uh, the module 4 and its uh, uh, model questions and the solutions so in this video uh, let's start with the model 4 so the first 7a is, uh, the question is like define the term copyright and rights write its classes so what you have to do is you have to define the term that will contain one marks and uh, its classification will uh, will have four marks so copyright model 4 so you have almost uh, around five points but here you just have to define what is copyright so this one sentence is enough that is copyright refers to the legal rights which is provided by the law to the original creator of the work in the field of literature and maybe the computer software also so once the particular work has been done by someone so it complete rights is given to that particular person so that is nothing but copyright right so that is this one sentence is also enough do not write simple you know what is unnecessary things instead of that you write one mark will definitely when they when they ask for definition there will be maximum one more for it so just define one in one sentence and go start explaining the other things so we are having four marks that you can write in, in the clip for classes of the copyrights there are a number of classes are there literature dramatics sound sound recordings artistics musical okay cinematography films all these things come under copyrights imagine uh, if any new movie releases and uh, uh, that uh, particular sound if you use in particular instagram or any soft uh, social media you might uh, uh, you might not upload that particular video because uh, the message will pop up there the particular your content has got a copyright thing even in youtube when you upload if you are uploading any uh, a recently released uh, songs or something like that uh, which is not at uh, being published publicly that uh, 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 those things will be given as a copyright so we cannot use that without their permission once the particular company or a particular artist or a particular album if they say uh, if they say that this copyright will uh, will be there for next one year and then after one year we are ready to, uh, ready to uh, uh, you know make it to the public then you can do that okay so before that if you want to do that will be a problem so that's how the these all things comes under the classes of copyrights it can be a literature dramatics sound recordings or critics drawing anything so you can easily write any four or uh, you can elaborate these particular sentences definitely you can do that for five marks. it's very easy so next question is 7b what are the two exclusive rights owned by the copyright owner explain briefly so what are the two different exclusive rights which has been owned by the uh, copyright so here the ownership of copyright i guess in this particular topic only it comes to exclusive rights right is the question to exclusive rights owned by the copyright owner so I have seen this morning
yes here it is you are having the two exclusive right a copyright owner enjoys two rights that is one is economic right that is also called as proprietary rights and another one is moral rights so moral rights will be like a personal rights so you can also uh, 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 you can write this economic rights you write from here this will carry around 5 mark i mean 2.5 marks still here and uh, next we are having the moral rights this also will carry two and a half marks this you just elaborate okay so that will be uh, that is asked for how many marks yes five marks more than uh, sufficient this you can elaborate okay next thing what we are having is what are the roles of the functions of the copyrights copyright board okay functions of the copyright board and copyright society so here you understood no so for five marks what you can do is you just write this one sentence a copyright owner enjoys two rights that itself will this sentence itself will give you a uh, two more i mean one mark and then two marks each for economic rights and moral rights okay so you are having the economic rights here as associated with financial benefits which are uh, definitely when you sell it you will get some amount of money so reproduction of the work in any form including printing publications or sound recordings all these things will come distribution of copies of the work for example when the movie releases i will take an example of movie because youth are more connected to the movies in terms of business and when uh, you might have seen that uh, this particular movie is uh, a recording is been sold copyright has been sold for 10 crores 20 crores and songs are sold for 10 crores 20 crores tv rights have uh, sold for so and so crores that means so the owner is selling those rights to the people like commercializing and to earn more money okay so broadcasting public performance translating the work to the other languages maybe dubbing of the movies adoption of the work such as converting a novel into the screenplay all those things comes under economic rights then the moral rights they will include the paternity or rights of integrity for example the rights of paternity even if the copyright has been licensed to another party the original author of the work retains the right from the, you know to claim the authorship for example now if i have this particular uh, moral rights that means uh, even though i have sold my copyrights to the particular company or some someone uh, but the original uh, uh, owner is I am only like I'm I'm the only person who created it so I will have more uh, you know rights on that particular content okay so that uh, is about the moral rights so that you can elaborate uh, like name of the authors uh, that will remain even though copyrights have been transferred to another party example book publisher and all for example when there is a when I publish a particular book okay as an author my name will be there even though the publisher is Elsevier or Springer Nature or any kind of the publishers in India it is we are having the Sapna book house or uh, the Deepa publications Sudha publications all those things and all okay so those things will come into picture that you can elaborate so next question is functions of the copyright copyright board what are the functions Corporate society, society can. This also, this is one of the topic. See, one of the topic is that the corporate society in administrating corporates in laws and these things, and uh, roles of rules and the functions. Let's see your roles also. Let's see topic wise. 
copyright society copyright the word function transfer copyright copyright in the publish copyright file in india file id copyright symbol free structure how to apply process jurisdiction copyright register fine so we got this functions copyright society is uh, definitely yeah can perform the following functions mm, looking for some other answer question copyright cases yes definitely uh, this will be the answer copyright society itself and it has been asked for 10 marks so what are the roles and the functions of the copyrights i was looking for some other answer some was mentioned so copyright for yes here it is uh, copyright infringement uh, there is a dedicated activity then for the copyright is also there is a copyright board constituted by the central government and effectively are joint certain claims can uh, directly write the topic number you do one thing you start writing uh, introduction to copyright so here it is been explained about uh, what things to be copyrighted all those things you write you into uh, write the information about this thing i mean first topic and then go for the 22nd topic i guess what is the topic number i'll just yeah 23rd copyright society that should be the answer for uh, this thing and 10 marks you can easily write next question is uh, eighth question i hope that is fine and the next question is eighth question here 10 10 marks questions are there which has been split so what are the key eligibility criteria okay so eligibility criteria it plays a very important role that must qualify the trademark protection so we are going for next directly to the trademark see this is the topic and what is the complete question so what are the different criteria and list out the advantages that prioritize gains through the trademark registration okay so trademark registration also you have to add so eligibility criteria so we are having distinctiveness descriptiveness similar uh, similarity to the prior marks so that is what you have to write that we will carry around uh, five marks and uh, we also have the answer a list advantages that uh, a prior uh, prop okay proprietor gains through trade marks let's find first if something is there no is it there in the trademark yes so this is where you have to write this is the topic you have to add registration of the trademark is not compulsory but here you have to write this all the the restriction things is not compulsory restriction provides certain advantages see this is the topic advantages to the pre uh, proprietor of the trademark so that is the question i just think that this is what the list out the 
advantages that the provider gains through the trademark uh, registration that occurs so understood so the question number uh, 8a for that you have to write two answers that is the first under trademark the first topic that is uh, uh, that is 1.1 eligibility of the criteria so much and then go for 1.6 or other uh, registration the six uh, sixth topic still here okay so that you can write okay so that was about five ma uh, 10 marks five marks plus i mean four plus six marks actually so next using a flowchart explain the steps involved in the process of trademark registration so trademark registration uh, is the answer for this trademark registry process of trademark registration so 1.10 is complete answer 1.10.1 is the first topic next we are having this flowchart is plays a very important role process of this thing okay So you can write only so much prior of uh, this thing and uh, yeah that is the only thing you can write okay 10 marks is more than enough so chart plays a very important role so that's it about the module 4 okay hopefully you can uh, uh, now answer this particular module 4 of model model question number 1 so in the this thing only we will, uh, after this model question 1 in model question 2 also i will uh, explain in module wise but in one video okay